but first begin with a weather alert once again. People in New Jersey bracing for more flooding from rising rivers that are expected to spill into communities tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Corey Chambers. I'm Erin E. LeBeau. The Passaic River is currently above its flood stages and is still rising, which is why officials are urging residents in the affected areas to leave now. Yeah, even worse, another fast moving storm is racing towards the tri state and will bring more rain to our area starting tomorrow night. Meanwhile, this morning, Governor Phil Murphy was in Little Falls, New Jersey to survey the flood damage, but many residents say they are just focused on the safety of their families. And we have live team coverage for you tonight. Mr. G is tracking the new storm that's headed our way, but Jim Vassell kicks off our live team coverage from Little Falls, New Jersey. Jim. Yeah, good evening. It is a very serious situation here in Little Falls. Uh, at this hour, all roads around the Passaic River and in this part of town remain closed. And here is that rising Passaic River uh, you guys were mentioning. You could see how strong and how fast that current is. Now, residents in affected areas of town here like this one have been asked to evacuate and some who live elevated homes tell me they're going to ride this flood out but of course not everyone has that option and some people feel their voices aren't being heard with his wife and four kids little falls resident anas hussein is packing up the minivan and leaving his house again the last time i was four days uh, mm -hmm. in the hotel i mean you know, i've been of money for the hotels i cannot find no space to stay to Last month's flooding took over his home's crawl space and nearly entered the main floor. He says the town offered shelter but didn't find the space comfortable enough for his big family. Imagine if the water inside my house. Now, what am I going to do? I'm not going to be able to live there. Okay, I'm going to stay in a hotel. I got to pay like a $200 every, every day. I cannot afford that. What about the work? I can, you know, today I'm off work. The last time I was four days off work too. So I've I'm, been I'm, I'm losing my jobs and losing my money and losing everything and I, it's no help. As the Passaic River churns, it is spilling into the town Singak neighborhood and some businesses across the bridge in Wayne. <laughs> Residents doing what they have to do to make it through. We had so much rain, the reservoirs are chock full, there's no water, water to go, it just comes down here. And they'll never do nothing with the river. If this was a Jersey Shore, they put $100 million in and fix it all up. But down here, they won't do anything. Governor Phil Murphy, just a day after visiting flood ravaged Lodi, took a tour of Singak with Mayor James Damiano. We need big resiliency investments, whether that's dredging rivers or redirecting uh, currents, um, you know, bigger sort of bigger picture things. The yeah. real issue is really these these homes that, that, are, that are at ground level, that have living space in the flood area and getting them above our flood area yep. is critical to keep them safe during these storms. Now, I asked the governor today about why he chose to visit these flood affected areas this week and not after the initial December storm. His answer to me was there are things you can do remotely 24 seven in terms of running government. At the same time, he did acknowledge to me that it is important to have an in-person presence. In the meantime, there for anyone who needs shelter, there is a shelter right now set up at the Civic Center on Warren Street. And please remember, please do not drive into floodwaters. Live tonight in Little Falls, New Jersey, Jim Vassell, Pixel News. All right.